Hello, Cinepals. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Kristen Stephenson Pino. Again. Now, if you hear a noise in the background, it's because a char cook is rude and making herself a tea while we shoot our video. We're You're watching. You're rude. <laughs> We're watching a video from. Sometimes <laughs> is necessary. We're watching a video from yeah, Mr. Who's the Boss. The greatest surprise proposal ever. If y'all don't know this about me, you're gonna know it now. One of my secret obsessions with YouTube is proposal videos. Really? I love proposal videos. Why? It's one of the happiest moments in your life that cannot be recreated. Like, this is heteronormative, okay? That's where I'm speaking from. The girl has no idea what's coming, usually. Usually. Or even if she has a suspicion of it, it's just still like, still know, yeah. you know, the feelings, it, 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 there's like this like antsy anticipation to the whole thing. When's it gonna happen? When's it gonna happen? And it's all positive feelings. The anxiety is positive. The, the moment of it is positive. All of it is positive. And the guy's like, his heart is beating really, really fast. How, whatever he's planned and set up, especially if it's like an epic proposal. I love those. This hype up is making me want to get proposed to. I love it. And then when the guy finally does it, if, like whether he chokes or not, like you know what he's saying. And the girl says, oh my God, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I just love that. It's like, you can't recreate that. One more time. <laughs> anyway, that's why I love proposal videos. Uh, this is from Mr. Who's the Boss, the greatest surprise proposal ever. I have no idea of that. I mean, that's a very big statement. We'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Mr. Proposal Video Watcher over here is going to let you know <laughs> if that's true. That's a superlative. I'm just going to keep saying. <laughs> superlative. Filthy, filthy, filthy. <laughs> that's horrible. Here we go. This is Trisha. We met catchy. three years ago. She's my soulmate. She's the most infectiously positive bundle of happiness I've ever come across. She makes the good Aww. times so much better and in the bad times she's the first to come and the last to leave and i want to marry her but we have to do this properly i've been dreaming since the age of 10 about how i would one day propose and so now that it's actually happening i want to make sure i do that little guy proud so this is what we need to do i've got to figure out how i'm going to propose i want to ask for her parents permission we've got to find the perfect ring then i've got to actually ask her the question and she cannot find out about any of this until that happens let's do it so here's the thing, right? Trisha is a super intelligent girl. She is like this. And so every time we've had an anniversary or a birthday, I've always tried to turn it into some sort of increasingly challenging puzzle that she has to solve. But no joke. I spent hours, even yes. days on these puzzles, only for her to just look at them and go, I thought that was going to take longer. Not this time. I thought that was going to take longer. That's what she said. That's what she said. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Don't ruin my... I mean... <sighs> I love Kristen so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my best proposal ever, and then you throw that in there, and I'm like... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I realized the only right way to do this proposal was to create the first puzzle that would actually challenge her, and probably the last puzzle I'll ever make. I'm not dying. She's just... Too good at puzzles. <laughs> okay, I've decided. We're gonna make a custom escape room from scratch. We're gonna do the puzzles together, but it's only when she gets to the final room and she realizes that the entire thing was made for her that I'm gonna get on one knee and ask her to spend the rest of her life with me. Now, obviously, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So I furiously emailed company after company, got rejection after rejection, until there is a guy called Jay. He's basically just messaged back to say, great to hear from you, this sounds fun. I couldn't believe it. We're doing this. But I have to contain my excitement. I'm still regularly meeting up with Trisha. She cannot find out. I'm about to meet the guy who's going to make this happen. Nice to meet you. This is Jay. That the guy only looks man big brain enough to make something like that a Trisha very might positive person. With. He could have some strange sounds. Like oh, yes, he does. Completely yeah. seamless transition into the game. This meeting was really where it started to dawn on me just how next level this proposal could be. Even just like talking Do you think about he told it, him in advance, like, 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 yo, I'm going to film you? Just, yeah. We decided to shape Probably. each room within the escape room based on her favorite dates that we've been on. So, for example, our very first date we met at a cocktail club. There's got to be a bar in this escape room. One of our most memorable was dining in the dark together. So, that's going to become an immersive pitch black room. She took me out once to a video game arcade, which is when I first realized how competitive she was and how compatible we were. And probably our joint favorite bit involves sneaking into a park at night and gazing at stars together. That had to make it in two. We ended up with four key puzzle rooms, but each of those would also be filled with smaller references to the other things we've done together. So we're trying to find a venue to be able to host the escape room in, but this, this is, is so epic. Before, but actually trying to hire a large scale venue in London for That's months it. at a time, it's literally being quoted as 50,000 pounds. Then we had a brain. You can afford it. Piece of software that when you do a Google search, <laughs> it retrieves all the phone numbers and the email addresses of the results. Oh my so, gosh. To get ourselves an actually affordable price, we targeted all venues that might have some spare space that they weren't going to be using. Pubs, churches, local government buildings. We ended up accumulating a list so large that we were able to push out 300 emails a day to them, seeing who was interested. We had many calls and many weeks of just narrowing this net down. So we can use this location. 
<laughs> Milo showing everyone his location. And then we found the perfect one. You know what I'm a thinking? A pub called yes. Dunnesbury. Just managed to leave the house. She thinks I'm seeing a friend. I took a nice little secret journey to the other side of London. We're here. This is where it's happening. This is the actual pub. We're going to be downstairs. These are the stairs that we're actually going to walk down. It actually looks exactly what you would expect a pub basement to look like. <laughs> but that is actually kind of perfect, because the hardest part of this whole thing is getting Drisha to the final room without her realizing what's about to happen in it. And then okay. this is where the game begins. By the exit door. You actually need to. Oh, no. oh sorry. <laughs> this is the first room where the tone is oh, going to change. She's going to come here thinking, oh, what a nice drinking establishment. We're going to have some drinks, we're going to have some more drinks, and then we're going to stumble out the way we came. But she's going to have absolutely no idea that this is actually themed after our first date, that it's about to become an entire escape room, or that she's about to be proposed to. And then this is the main room, which we're going to completely transform. Now that we have the floor plan locked in, it's just dawning on me that he's doing this whole thing, but turn it into content for YouTube. But with about half a day of intricate fiddling, we finally figured out. Ruining this. I hope she never inside, hears those words come out of your mouth. <laughs> you potentially make the final room. A and he probably got it all paid for so too. She yeah. solves her final puzzle. Even have to she spend walks a penny. in and she sees me at the end. I'm actually so nervous just being here, starting to feel so real. It has just occurred to me, we also need the perfect song to play while I'm proposing. My sister is the best piano player that I know. Hmm, interesting. Hey, I've got a slight favor to ask. You know how we're doing this escape room? Do you think yeah. you can play her number one favorite song on the piano? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, now that I'd secured the music, it was also time to secure the I guess the sister's going to say no. But because I wanted to see their reaction... Mine would, yeah, she wouldn't say no. So I'm about to text Trisha's mom. How do I do this? Okay, so basically, I'm planning a surprise. That'll work because her birthday is around the same time. So hopefully she'll assume that's what I'm talking about. And I'm not lying, technically. I've booked us a table. Would you mind coming with me to help sample some food? Please don't tell her. And we wait. With all of these things cooking in the background, it was time to find the ring. This is Hatton Garden. It is apparently the ring capital of the country. Kind of weird that this I'm is so complicated. For a ring. I know. That doesn't feel real. Thankfully, I did actually ask her really early on in our relationship what type of ring she likes. Been storing it up here. She's going to want a thin band, a fairly small stone, and that stone, I think, should be a diamond. As you can tell, I know nothing about rings. <laughs> We're looking for like a really simple shape straight out of a Disney movie. The proportion has to be kind of quite dainty. Yep. Is there a name for something like that? Tiffany Star. Oh. <laughs> That was that was so easy. <laughs> and the search has begun. I went from store. What stresses me out about rings is like knowing her ring size. I think that if you're liking someone that you're seeing like long term and you think it could go somewhere early as possible, so she forgets that it happened, you want to find out her ring size. Everything I could about the mysterious market of rings. Oh my god! And look what they've got. Where have you seen this before? <laughs> this looks really nice. That's crazy. Sorry. Is it a, a thing to have a bezel all the way around? <laughs> okay, yeah. Seems ironic, me putting the bezels back on. It's actually phenomenal how fat my fingers are. I look pretty, though. I was getting a really good idea of what kind of ring I wanted, but for now, there was an even more important job to be done. All right, so we're off to go meet the parents. Thankfully, they don't know who Josh is, which is going to give us the perfect opportunity. <laughs> so we are at the location now. We've got Josh sitting over there. Gonna He's going to hold the phone and record. And her parents are going to be right here and here. I'm sure it's going to go well, but I'm just like, my heart is racing right now. 10 minutes felt like forever, but they did eventually arrive. I mean, but yeah, we got this surprise plan. Okay. So they should be sitting uh, there you know so that we see their faces. Up. It's not a birthday surprise. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, the reason we're here is Trisha <laughs> is my best friend in the whole wide world. And oh, they know. I want to marry her. And I wanted to ask your guys' permission. Oh my god. Why? Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't be seeing his face. Oh my we should be seeing their face. Yeah, yeah, he blew it there. Oh. Kind of messed up, yeah, blow it. Or maybe he did just in case they didn't oh. want their faces on it. Wonderful news of hiding my eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Maybe that's what it is. Over there. Josh, oh, no, oh, never mind. Oh, there. He blew it. That went about <laughs> as well as it could have. I'm going straight back to her house, right after her parents. We've got a 30-minute time gap, mm, so it's one, not too suspicious. One thing I'm literally going to be walking in, <laughs> saying hi to them in front of her, not the acknowledging that we've just spent the last two hours together. The web of deceit grows. Oh, my gosh. So I spent a lot of time over the last three days trying to figure out what we're going to call this escape room. I really wanted to be some sort of amalgamation of our names, Aaron and Drisha, but it's just not Clicking. I realized there's something called an anagram generator, which can oh. scramble letters you give it. Ah. But the best I could do with our two names was harsh durian. Which <laughs> 
that feels like the answer. I think I might have cracked it. It doesn't just need to be Arundrisha. It can be Arundrisha forever. K-R- I think we figured out A-B-Y. Driston. Harvard. Henry's. You're not following. Perfect. It's our name. Wait, 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 what did you say? I wasn't listening to you. I was trying to figure out what he was trying to say. And you're over here talking to me. And I'm invested in the I best. I said Krabby. Krabby. <laughs> K-R-A-B-Y. So romantic. Yes, exactly. Very early on. But what I'm hoping is that it's only in her final puzzle where she's going to be unscrambling these tiles that everything is suddenly going to fall in place and she's going to realize. I'm actually so relieved. Trisha has come to visit me right now. I asked her mom to measure her ring that she has at home and then to send me what the size is. And she is so oh. smart because she's realized that I'm with Trisha. And so the text she sent is encrypted. Hi, Aaron. Just check the Wi-Fi speed and it's 48. Is that good? 48. That's the number. Oh! Oh! That was smooth. Oh! That was smooth. That's the place I wanted to go. That's not good. At this point, I was armed with all the knowledge of a diamond dealer and ready to buy. Then, at the single moment I least expected it, at the local Nottingham Christmas market, I found. Yeah, no, this wasn't it. <laughs> We're looking for a very specific thing. But the more I looked, the more it seemed like a fruitless effort. It's all exactly what I wanted in London. Maybe I should have just got it then. Yes. I should have. Within five minutes, I was in a car, and within three hours, I'm back in London. Let's go buy a ring. This is it. I found the design. And I also realized that this perfect ring I've been thinking about this whole time was actually just a demo unit that just had a $2 quartz instead of a diamond inside of it. So, slight knock to my confidence as diamond master. <laughs> when I saw this one actual stone that we could use inside, wow. I couldn't believe the amount of color and sparkle. Mm. That stone sold me on the spot. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you too. See you next year, I guess. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Okay, <laughs> done. I just bought my engagement ring. Early moly. I've just checked into my room for the night. This is actually freaky. So Drisha just went out for dinner. Got a fortune cookie. There's a good chance of a romantic encounter soon. Tell me that's not at least a little bit sus. I just thought this was funny. So just in case it pops up as a message while she's around. <laughs> I've renamed the ring place to just Harry on my phone. Now things were getting properly serious though, it's about time we sent the most important text message of this entire project. So, I'd realized very early in this process that there was only one perfect day that this proposal had to happen on, Monday 6th of February. The day we first met was a Monday, and February ah. 6th would be exactly three years since the day I asked her to be my girlfriend. Time to ask her to book the day off. Her birthday's coming up very, very soon. What I'm gonna tell her is I've managed to book something for her during the day, but the thing that I wanted to do in the evening wasn't available. What a shame, we have to do it on February 6th. Would you hypothetically be able to book off Monday 6th? <laughs> Oh, Feb. Oh my god, she's seen the message. She said, you know exactly how to pique my curiosity. I must. Yes. That's everything I needed. I feel like I'm developing a sort of internal filter that stops me speaking before I've checked that what I'm saying doesn't contain the ring, <laughs> Drisha, her parents, this <laughs> And this is all also happening while I'm planning to surprise my mum with her dream car. The two biggest secrets I've ever kept from the two people that I probably talk to the most. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, every single day now, all I Where's your shirt? is just the moment where she looks at me and she knows what's about to happen. I get down on one knee, I ask her to spend the rest of her life with me. Ah, I'm like, like... like... <laughs> Now you get it. I'm so excited <laughs> for him, but like, I'm like, just to be sure that I kept it under wraps, could you imagine, man, I decided to tell everyone oh, who knew about the plan to only call it Puzzle from now on. And this ended up saving the entire plan a few times, including when she was working right next to me and the puzzle chat was pinging with notifications. It's ring pickup time. My back. Yeah, Since I'm literally off to go see her now, I'm gonna wrap it in a sock, <laughs> it in the front of my back. Off we go. <laughs> All right, it's now January 25th. We're literally two weeks away. So it's finally time to see what this escape room looks like. This is where we find out if all of the planning, the diagrams, sketches, if all of that was worth it. We're going in backwards first. Oh, we have rooms. This looks very, very different. When we saw this, it was just one big space. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> I love how the moment they go, oh, there's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> like immediately, as if on cue. This was going to be the best escape room she's ever experienced. This is cool. This is very cool. B, there was a lot of work to do in not a lot of time. And C, this was one very hungry dog. <laughs> ate the sandwich. <laughs> ate the sandwich. Oh, what a joke. It's really nerve wracking. Got a Jack Russell about Terrier? At what stage is she going to figure yeah, out what's happening? Yeah. She's going to figure out at some point. This is very unfortunate. <laughs> that might be the sandwich from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? No. He took a dump. No. He ate his poop. Why you get a cat? 
the main thing we came to do was to uh, set up and install the highest ew. end live streaming cameras we could possibly find. Oh my god, those are enormous. We thought, okay, this escape room is incredibly low light. We're going to need the best possible set of cameras that this all connect to like one central hub mm -hmm. so that we can monitor them and move them in real time. Let's go far, we can zoom in. This is the last time we're going to be here until the proposal. Or well, so I thought. <laughs> so we've got a slight problem. When you actually set the escape room to realistic lighting conditions, it's just a sheet of grain. I actually can't believe this is happening right now. These cameras we've rented are worth, in total, 36,000 British pounds. Oof. And the phones are shooting far better footage. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. So I just had a bit of a brainwave. We're making this escape room, uh, so we can just invent uh, a reason for us to have to make That's rough. You're laughing because you feel the pain. You're hurting on that <sighs> one. <laughs> That is insane. That would happen to you. When you're a guy like myself, you're just like, okay, I need to get the best quality possible. I was on a YouTuber's page the other day, a smaller YouTuber who does tech stuff. It was something about um, DSLRs versus phones. I wish I could remember exactly what the hell it was about. Basically, this comment was talking about the camera. A woman chimes in and goes, you know, that's all well and good, but I'm just trying. I don't know why she was watching this tech video. <laughs> But like she's like that's all well and good but, but but you know when you're trying to chase your kids around and get a photo the phone's perfect and so i responded oh no okay the <laughs> comment the comment that the initial poster the initial guy left was like a line and then she left a line i left a paragraph <laughs> in response to her to break it down being like look you know you can't beat the convenience of a phone you know you shoot edit post all from this thing and is you know autofocus all that but why you should you were, get a mirrorless camera so what you're saying is yeah you were a karen all right, continue. I care in that comment <laughs> all the way home. Okay, Karen. But like, that's how you end up thinking because you want the best possible quality. And I'm, uh, he obviously wanted the same thing. So he's yeah. spent gobs of money on the best possible quality only for it to come out like shite. That's crazy town. I don't understand what cameras he got. Why, why they weren't able to register low light. That's nuts. Should we find out? About what? What the post was that I was looking at. Excuse You're me. interrupting my best proposal ever. Oh, here. Found it. Basically, this the original poster, this is from Max Tech, the YouTube channel. Another tech channel, okay? The video is basically saying, my iPhone 14 Pro is replacing my professional camera. So this guy responds, as someone who does professional video and also has the iPhone 14 Pro, the iPhone is nowhere even remotely close to replacing my Sony cameras, my Sony cinema cameras. That fake electronic depth of it's terrible. He's talking about depth of field. So... This is like tech heads that are talking. Yeah. Then this lady pops in and goes, to someone who does professional video, yes. For a new mom trying to take pictures of her kids eating and at the park, it's 99% the same thing. Why are you here? Why are you on this video, lady? No. <laughs> so I respond. So I respond. I respond. Uh, oh my gosh. Can totally understand where you're coming from. All depends on what you want to look back on in years to come or what you want to do with those photos. It's hard to argue against the convenience of something being all in one. You can shoot, edit, and post from the same thing. Uh, that you have with you anyway, but in terms of capturing video or photos of your kids, I think newer mirrorless cameras have gotten really darn good at tracking. In fact, I think iPhones can be more cumbersome at times when you want something specific in focus. You might not sweat it, uh, not totally being in focus because of lack of shallow depth of field, but that can be matched on a mirrorless camera. You can probably find a package of a camera and zoom kit lens on a cheaper, uh, uh, for, for cheaper than an iPhone and superior quality. The bigger sensor gives you more room to play in a number of ways, including easier control over actual shallow depth of field. And with a real zoom lens, the image won't fall apart. I think a mirrorless with a zoom is ultimately a better solution for capturing your kids if you don't want to chase them around to get a nice looking photo because you can zoom in, bitches. And, uh, <laughs> and if you if you Bluetooth to your phone, you can edit and post afterwards the same as you would as you if you shot the photo with your phone. You got a response back. Well, you don't need a pro. <laughs> you don't need a pro camera in the first place for that. <laughs> so I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so, that was worth it. We did it, people. I feel so proud. So I just had a bit of a brainwave. We're making this escape room, so we can just invent a reason for us to have to mount cameras onto ourselves, obviously. So we went away and we came up with a plan. We're gonna have 10 iPhones, two wearable on-body cameras, and then six high-end security cameras. Well, that's not because sus. security cameras that's are built lot. to see in pitch black using infrared. We bought one just to make absolute sure that it would work well in low light, and it passed with flying colors. So, we are back. Armed with the heaviest gear bag I've ever had the pleasure of trying to carry, the camera situation was finally under control and we even got Jay to agree to find a way to integrate the body cams which since he's all about the immersion of the escape rooms he works on he obviously loved. How do you feel about us having these attached to us? During the game? Yeah during the game. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> <laughs> he's like I don't know about this. 
<laughs> I'm actually so sorry, Jay. Anyway, while I was in Jay's control room, I also got to see how he was going to be able to change his voice to sound like Zeus to direct us during the game. So you created a profile for your voice. This is epidemic sound. Super this cool. music is just so you know, it's epidemic sound. And I think it was one of the songs I chose for Achara because I was like, I had songs for like Achara songs from epidemic sound. Everybody uses epidemic sound. If you can find an alternate solution as a YouTuber to epidemic sound, you keep that solution because everyone uses epidemic sound, including us. It changes direct us during the game. So you created a profile for your voice so yes. that when it goes through this, it changes it. Exactly. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> but it was only now that it dawned on me. We had just days to go. And this final proposal room was not looking nearly as good as it needed to. She's going to remember this room for the rest of her life. Time to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> I legged it to the closest hardware store. I bought up every white curtain and suitable LED strip I wow. could find. And basically That's spent the next money. four hours frantically. All of this effort for five seconds of glory. That's what we're working. I mean. Could I you that. imagine though, somebody going out of their way doing this for you? Just no, for I, I love it. Like a uh -huh. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. I'm just saying like it's fleeting. It's, it's My future it's, husband, please do something like this for me. Yeah, triggered in son. <laughs> With what I thought the room Hey, if I ever have a guy show him the video, the okay? Until it was yeah. finished. But <laughs> before I knew it, it was 6 p.m. And I had to head oh, to the other side of London for a Samsung event. Dude, he's Terrified traveling far. Knowing that it was not done and that I would now have no more time until the proposal day itself. No bragging. I can hear my sister practicing the song. <laughs> Aww. Don't mess it up. I got a nice house. Makes me the song cry. is literally the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. But it actually took from morning to the middle of the night to put it all together, smooth out the rough edges, and finish this masterpiece. And while I was there, I also realized there was actually a correct need to go <laughs> down, so I got some fun oh. practice in. <laughs> the only things left to do then were to buy the suit I was going to wear, stare at the ring for the hundredth time, make myself look as presentable as possible, which included a very painful eyebrow threading appointment. Oh, this is fun. And then practice speed changing. When Drisha is in her final room, unscrambling the name practice of the bar, I'm going to have changing. a maximum of two and a half minutes so to actually cute. change my entire outfit. So I had to make damn sure I could do that. It was time. It's the day itself. This place needs so much work. I'm both the most nervous and most excited I've ever been in my entire life. Putting my latex allergy to the side for a minute, I have never blown up balloons with more pace than I did in those two hours. <laughs> I can't understate how many balloons we ended up getting that I just blew like my life depended on. <laughs> and I have to pick Trisha up in 20 minutes. <laughs> Time was Sorry. up. I left the dog in charge, <laughs> hid all sandwiches, and headed off to pick up my 2B fiance. Just after a quick bathroom trip on the way out. Ooh, How many times did you go? I forgot my microphone, which was going to be attached to me to record the entire audio track. So I oh. told my team to basically wrap it all up and hide it in the bathroom, which I will then visit when I take Trisha to the pub. Don't oh. make things easy. Oh, like the Godfather. There she was, completely oblivious to what was about to happen. I tell you, keeping my cool in this moment was <laughs> this absolutely recording essential. Is like... <laughs> also one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Would you believe me if I said we're actually going to a pub? No. Well, we're going to the pub. And I'm going to the bathroom to reclaim my lost microphone. Thankfully, it's not engaged this time. Oops. But I'm about to. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> this is the moment we walk down into the basement and begin the game. Oh, nice. Time to see how my iPhone shot. year of planning pays off. Or it looks like an iPhone shot. I so it was like that. Oh, what do you call it? Speak, <laughs> yeah. Time lapse. It doesn't like a standard sort of cocktail, but I'll explain why. So basically, my name is Henry Maynard. I'm from a company called Four Harvard Henrys. We have a couple of cocktails to give you guys tonight. So seeing as it's February, we think we'd go with the theme of love. I assume you two are together. You'd like to think so, yeah. <laughs> Lady we like to call the Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of romantic beauty. So are you surprised? <laughs> like, yeah. this is not what you expected. No. It was in plain sight that you were like, we're going to a pub. Yeah, I told her, I'm yeah. like, we're going to a pub. And she's like, no, there's no way you made me dress up to come to a pub. <laughs> so this bad boy, it is a little bit of a mixture of everything sweet, everything nice, but not too much spice. So like, we were just having a conversation about how I don't think she can one for one me on drinks. But she disagrees. That's one of the best cocktails I've ever had. Well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying. Next one's very interesting. I'm glad you guys mentioned. My the face is hurting from smiling so much. much. <laughs> <laughs> I, this I had this one last night, and normally I feel like my alcohol tolerance is pretty high. Not me now. I woke up and I was just clutching that book. What? Yeah. What is the book? Full of like weird stories. You guys sit here for one sec. I'm just going to grab. My dreams plague me, although 
My name is Oasis. This is insane. <laughs> I have entered your dreams to destroy true love. You will never find the missing ingredient to your love. Challenge me at your peril. And the game begins. Fun fact, even though I helped to design them, of course, just to be absolutely certain that the experience felt real to me, I also made sure that I knew none of the <laughs> to the This is an immersive escape. That's oh amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't Brilliant. know anything else. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so you can have fun too, too. Yeah. Two, two. <laughs> I'm so nervous for him. So it's gotta be something I wouldn't be able to even help her or think. I'd be so like. There's books here. Wait, there's something here. It's like yeah. a laser tag thing. Yeah? Okay, so we've got to do something with these senses. I'll take my coat off. That was the best trick I've ever had. Okay, so book. All right, so I see the gods, the and they tell me to place three offerings on a bed of feathers. The god Aphrodite appears in the form of a beautiful woman with long flowing hair. She is holding a scallop shell. Is that a scallop shell? To see if there's anything else underlined then. Peacock. Drish, on that table. On a bed of feathers. That's a bed of feathers yeah. right there. Oh, nice. Okay, so put them there. You have opened a gateway to your dreams. Oh my oh. god. We've done it. Bar room solved. I could not believe this was actually working. She genuinely thinks the escape room is the only surprise. But now it was onto the pitch black room. Shh, and the name shh, does shh. not lie. Oh, the stuff. I'm trying not to smile. Put your hand in here. It hurts. <laughs> Oh, it's gooey! <laughs> we quickly realized that there were pieces all around the room that needed to be used to fill the three circles at the end, taking into account the three different types of texture that each one had. I feel like I can see half a crescent. Oh, there's another piece here. Just so you know. Oh, wait, there's another one I here. absolutely oh, loathe the escape here. rooms. Oh, wait, I that's hate felt. So it's quite diamond. Is that like a sticky surface? Yeah. Perhaps? We solved the first circle within a minute by just using the pieces we'd already found. We just had two pieces left to put in. So we need bottom one of this and the top one of that. Getting them out must be something to do with these. Okay, so there's five levels to this. Are there five slime tubes? There's only four. Yep. Oh, maybe that's the code to this. Yeah, but there's a lock here. It's a coded padlock, right? Yeah, I'm the one actually see. There's buttons. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, so which ones are out? Uh, okay, so left at the top, then it's right, then it's neither, then it's left, then it's both. Got it. The final piece took a good 10 minutes of shuffling around in the dark and sticking mm -hmm. our hands into some very unpleasant places. Yep. Can you feel anything that might be a key? Oh, this is actually wet. Before finally. <laughs> yes! Yes! yes. I'll let you do the honors. You may have escaped the darkness <laughs> of eternal slumber. What do you think to four Harvard Henry's so far? Love it so much. <laughs> We'd made it to the video game room. And to kick it off, a custom video game that we had designed from scratch just for her. Compete against each other to win. This is so like satisfying. This you know, like the early console. She would that. never be able to top this for his birthday. It's a two-player head-to-head version of <laughs> Earthman, made to work with a controller that I can only describe as Twister for your fingers, where instead of collecting food, we're collecting hearts. Aww. Oh, I worked out how to go up and down. Wait, 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 Drish, That's it might so be mapped sweet. to opposite sides. Maybe you get your four fingers on where right and left are. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so disoriented. I want to at least get like one I'm heart. So... Oh. She won. That's um I'm so good. That's unfortunate. I'm so good. The colourful fruit could link to this, because look, red, yellow, red, yellow, green, blue, and then You're reset. Right. Yeah, yeah. Red, yellow, green, blue. Whoa. Yes! That was Smashed that was too it. easy. Oh my god. god. She is scary. Yeah. Yes. She should work oh. for the CIA. Got a little or for uh, um Oh. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, Whatever the British no, version Drake. of the CIA is. Oh, wait, 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 this is the... Yeah, mindset loser. I think it's based on the game that we just played. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it in my no, back. I'm gonna no, keep it in my no. back pocket. Okay, so we've just got to figure out these... Oh, 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 the heart. Yeah? Put it over them, put it over the numbers. Oh! Somehow, Drisha had realized in seconds that putting this red heart over these numbered sheets around the room revealed a set of pixelated characters, which when cross-referenced with the characters on this poster, oh. spelled out a code. Oh, it's the sheets, number three. That's insane. So the first number is number three. So you can yeah, tap she's three. Yeah, really good at this. If I ever... I, I, I'm so bad at if, it. If there was ever a yeah. girl that I thought I was going to yeah, marry, I would look. never show her this video. <laughs> this is like dot. so... One floating dot. I think it's one. Okay, this one has a square in the middle and two shapes. Three, seven, one, four. Five. Even after being married to the girl, ten years later, I wouldn't show her this video. Yes! Oh! How come you didn't do that for me? That's so good. My heartbeat was getting faster and faster, knowing we are oh, no. so close now. I can't describe to you how surreal it felt to see Grisha finally standing in these rooms with me. <laughs> and the first thing we notice in this park room is targets with labels on them. Oh, so the last room. Search. 
I'm gonna make Love. it brighter. Love. Light. Hold on, I'm oh. gonna make it brighter. Year. It's like star signs. Yeah. And then the last one is year. Maybe it's a sequence you have to... <laughs> this puzzle's referencing one of our biggest dates ever. We went to a random field in the middle of nowhere and played outdoor laser tag together. And this oh, is where we first fun. said we loved each other. So Aww. before people start, words in the fear, take aim at love and finish with year. So oh. let's shoot love and shoot yeah. Love's there. Oh, year's over here. Use that one. Okay. I don't think she's connected oh, yeah, the dots yet. No, not yet. Oh, he's That's so really satisfying. Good. But it wasn't the answer. You think we've got to start with love, do all the rest, and then get That one's here. reset, look. So we love, something, 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 yeah. You keep flashing me. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, let's... This is like when we painted our pizza boxes. That was one of my favorite dates ever. Soul search. Do the words. <laughs> Did you hear what you just said? Yeah. Search. Soul yeah. search. Oh my like gosh. Yeah. She didn't like get it. Yeah. No. Now we just need to shoot them. Okay, let's try it. Love heart. Did I get it? Oh, we've got to do it quickly. My heart is racing yeah. right now. Yeah. He's literally giving her cues. Why my heart's racing? Open fire. <laughs> okay. Surely the tree's going to get dark. Okay, so heart done. Yep. So now you do that one. Soul done. Yep, yeah, okay, done the other one. So now it's Love her light, light year. Light year. Yes. Okay, that should be all of them. Yes! Oh, that was oh so my good. god. Okay. Oh, there's so much stuff there. Okay. Oh god, that felt so good. <laughs> Take a seat and gaze upon the stars to see where you're oh. going. So you push on Polaris <laughs> to the north. Look over to where the sun sets and discover the herdsmen battling over Ariadne's treasure with Hercules. Hey! Take this treasure she wore on her wedding day. Give me a tissue box before I lose my shit over here. <laughs> Wait, keys. So one of those is going to open that box. Yeah, they all have a word on that. Wait, Drish, have you seen this? Yes, look at the ceiling. Oh, look at the stuff on Whoa, when did that happen? That's, that's my one. Yeah, that's Hercules. That's the other one. I'm gonna lie and look at stars at me. I will remember this moment for the rest of my life. I was struggling to keep myself together at this point. Not even because we were now lying on the exact spot the dog had <laughs> defecated on. I just knew that we were a minute away from the big moment. Can you see this shape anywhere on there? Is it that one? Yes. Polaris to the north. Is the tie. Yeah, so it's that one. So Hercules is this, like, this type of thing. That's Hercules and that was the other one. And yep. battling over the treasure. There's a shape in the middle. Thank you. And the key could be. Just in case. Okay. We got this. Let's figure this out. Well, I think that might be the key. Oh, this. oh, right. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> Keep me with you. Whoever's birth date is closest to Capricorn. Me. How do you know that? Because I am a Capricorn. Ah. <laughs> yeah. They must take their gift of velvet pouches with them. The other must wait and enter into the waking world. So I take you. Oh, it's me. I'll just chill here then. Tell me about it later. He knew that. Oh, he's gonna change. Quick! But while Drisha was piecing together what would become the most emotionally charged puzzle of her entire life, I had a slightly different puzzle <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> Stop it! I was scrambling around, going from room to room, looking for it, trying to be as quiet oh, as possible. No, he doesn't know where the ring is. But in my mind, I was screaming. Super. I knew she was getting closer and closer. I got it, I got it. Four Harvard Henrys. I got it. What? And that any second now it would all click into place for her and that final door would open. So I decided to just say, screw it. I ran upstairs because our families were waiting up there, borrowed my brother's tie and prepared Oh, you needed a tie. Oh. Meanwhile, Drisha figured it out. Drisha, forever, and then renew. She knew what the final word was, but this is her, almost paralyzed in the moment, not even able to put that final tile in place. This is the moment she realized everything. She realized that the escape room was not just for us, but about us, that I built the entire thing, and more importantly, what was about to happen. No way, she figured that out already. You have escaped your slumber to overcome me. She figured it out. Uh -huh. I can't. <laughs> Fucking can't with this. <laughs> and now this is sister for it. Oh my god. This is pretty good. Does it all make sense now? I don't know if you can top that. Does it all make sense?
makes sense now. He said. Oh. She's crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. <laughs> 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 oh, when I first met you, when you first walked away from me on our very first date, I've told you this. I saw you disappear into the underground and I turned around and I swore. That's partly because I never wanted that date to end. You're just throwing popcorn in my mouth. But it's also partly because I knew in that moment that my life had changed forever. And it's why now I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you. Trisha. Don't step on the camera. You'll marry me. <laughs> Always, always, yes. This doesn't feel real. Oh my god. I love you so much. I love you too. I can't. <laughs> I I'm done. I'm a mess over here. Wait, that's how they end it? That's all you need. That's the end of the video. That's all you need. Go home. Don't come back. <laughs> god damn it. Oh. The piano and everything. Jesus. <laughs> now my makeup's ruined. <laughs> Once it's not How are you not crying? <laughs> You're crying over a dog, but you won't cry over a beautiful, the most no. beautiful surprise proposal ever. No, but you died. I did. It was beautiful. Like, got, I'm more excited and like. I probably have tissue bits all over my face now. <laughs> that was so cool. That was cute. That was super cute. That was really cute. Mr. Who's the Boss made me cry. I don't think that can be topped. I remember Achara telling me about her uh, her sister's uh, proposal by her brother-in-law. It's kind of the same idea, but low key, where like it was at their apartment or their flat in London. And it was like a trail leading into the yeah. kitchen. And like the, each step represented like their dates or something like that. And like there was like McDonald's because their first date was at McDonald's because it was just low key and whatever. And that, I don't remember the other two. All I remember was my reaction being like, y'all just did this at your home. <laughs> 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 and Charles was like, it's too so sweet though. It's super like, sweet. And you're just like, you're like. I was so indignant. I'm just like, what? That's why. Look at those both story. Okay, so I know how I want to get proposed to. Oh, okay. You know that scene from Magic Mike? <laughs> you tell the guy, don't worry about it. I got this I all got, sorted I out. I got you. Yes, I, no, I mean, do your own do. thing. Do your own thing, future husband. But however. God, damn it. Okay. There's a scene from Magic Mike. He goes to the gas station. It's number yeah. two. And he's like, he goes over to the thing. He's like, choo -choo. Yeah. and the gas lady is ignoring him. You know the one, right? And they start. I saying, never saw the movie. You are I, I didn't see the movie. My fire. And he goes, okay, okay, and, okay, he okay. Goes, and he goes, and he goes, and then he goes on the, he like grabs his bag and he goes, tell me why. And bops open the bag of chips, pours water on himself, goes on the floor. Kind of like, you know, does this little yeah, thing. Yeah. It's a little sexual, I guess. Yeah. But I was like, damn, you're a f All right, it's so funny. That's what you want? Wait, hear me out. You look it up. It is so, look up uh, Magic Mike Dance in um, Gas Station. I can't do that here. Oh. Because of the music, it'll get us copyright claimed. Can you take it out? <laughs> I'll look at it later. Just take out the music <laughs> yeah. and just watch it. Or you know what, look it up, you'll see it. It is so funny. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's that's you. So funny. That's and I'm you. Like, I would laugh so hard. I'm like, I have to marry you. Yeah, now. yeah. That's you, though. Like, a hundred percent. No, that is very done. much you. Like, you. I would be in stitches. I'm you, like, yes, I you would. like the funny. Okay. Are you a Friends fan? Do you watch Friends? Yeah. You, okay. Do you know the whole thing with uh, with Ross's wedding to Emily, and he says the wrong name at the wedding? Yeah, Rachel. Hi, Ross. Take thee, Rachel. <laughs> My brother and and his wife got married in Denver, Colorado, or not, was it Denver? <laughs> what happens is at the at the altar, Andrew actually officiated the wedding and tells her what to say. And so she goes, I take thee, Rachel. And Craig, my brother, just starts laughing hysterically because it's, an, it's a Friends reference, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Everyone just loses it. And anyone who didn't watch Friends was like, what, what's going on? I thought it was hilarious. That's the kind of people they are is they'll make jokes all mm -hmm. the time, even at their wedding. Yeah. And you saying that that is how you want to be proposed to, I'm like, yeah, that totally is in line with Kristen. Kristen's weird. And so she funny. likes jokes. You could do that and like ask me, but you want me to be your girlfriend? Do that scene. Done. 
Uh, <laughs> this is it. But this was really sweet. This is it. This, this is romantic. I hope my future ex, I mean, not ex. <laughs> I hope my future ex-husband proposes to me this way. <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Why? <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. My future husband. Be ready. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you, Mr. Who's the Boss, for putting together this wonderful, very authentic, and genuine, and heartfelt video. Really appreciate y'all. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Kristen Savasvino. Peace out.